In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you how I made a game ready pub sign with procedural materials in Blender. The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. I start by using the cube to make the bracket to hold the sign. I scale the cube to the proper size. and apply the scale. I add a bevel to the top and the bottom of the cube. I then delete the front and back faces. And using Control F, I use the grid fill. This will remove any n-gons from the mesh. I will then use extrusions to make the rest of the bracket. I use a cube to make the extension from the bracket for the sign. I duplicate the cube and place it at a 45 degree angle to finish the bracket. In object mode, I apply the rotation and scale to the bracket. I also add a bevel modifier. Here's a tip. You can use Control A to apply the modifier. Just make sure your cursor is hovering over the modifier. Then I shade it smooth. I use a torus for the chain that will hold the sign, scaling it to the proper size and applying the scale. In edit mode, I duplicate and rotate the torus to form the chains.
In object mode, I apply the rotation and scale to the bracket, add a subdivision surface modifier, and shade it smooth. I'll now make the wooden planks for the actual sign. I'll use a cube scaled to the proper size, making sure to apply the scale. In edit mode, I add a bevel to the edges of the plank. I then add an array modifier to finish the sign. I apply the rotation and scale and shade the plank smooth. The last thing I do is make sure the 3D cursor is in the center rear of the bracket. Right click and set the origin to a 3D cursor. For the chains, I set the origin to the center of mass. I split the viewport and open up the UV editor. I select everything and tab into edit mode. I use the Smart UV Project option to unwrap the objects. and then export the UV. I'll be using two main materials for this model. I select the bracket and open the shader editor. I change the metallic to 1 and specular to 0.8 and change the base color to a dark gray. I'm using the hex code 474747. I add a Voronoi texture node, a color ramp, and a bump map node. I connect the color output of the Voronoi texture node to the factor of the color ramp. I then connect the color output of the color ramp to the height of the bump node. I then connect the normal of the bump node to the normal of the principal shader. I can then change the scale of the Voronoi texture node.
I can also move the color stops on the color ramp to control the texture on the bracket. and I changed the strength of the bump node. If I want something that looks like it has cracks in it, I can invert the bump node. I also want to control the roughness of the material. I duplicate the Voronoi texture and the color ramp. I also add a noise texture and a mix RGB node. I connect the noise texture and the second Voronoi texture nodes to the mix RGB node. I connect the mix RGB node to the color ramp. and the color ramp to the roughness of the principal shader. I changed the scale of the Voronoi texture and the noise texture nodes. If I move the white color stop, I can make the material rougher, more like a matte finish. If I move the black color stop, I can make the material appear more metallic and shiny. I then select the chains and add the same metal material. I select the sign and add a new material. I begin by adding a wave texture and connecting it to the BSDF shader. Using the Node Wrangler add-on, I add a Mapping and Texture Coordinate node. And change the Texture Coordinate to UV. I change the Distortion and Roughness. I add a color ramp. I can control the look of the wood texture even easier since this node allows me to map values to colors using a gradient. For the dark, color I am using 6E470B and for the lighter color I'm using the hex code AA8347. I can then go back and change the options of the wave texture.
Now I can go on to adding some details. I'll add a noise texture and a mix RGB node. Now place them before the color ramp so I can mix together the wave texture and the noise texture. I can then adjust the noise texture and color ramp to get a wood grain that I like. Right now it looks a bit flat, so I can add a bump map and connect it to the normal of the BSDF shader. I connect the color ramp to the height of the bump map and adjust the strength. I now add the decals for the sign. The link to the rooster graphic is in the description. The text is something I made in Affinity Designer. It is saved as a PNG image. The font I'm using is Baskerville Old Face. I import the rooster graphic via Import Images as Planes and place it on one side of the sign. Add a subdivision surface modifier using the simple option so the graphic will better conform to the sign. I duplicate it and place it on the other side of the sign. Add a shrink wrap modifier with the sign as the target and give it a small offset. Under the Texture tab in the Settings panel, I turn off Shadows so the decals won't produce any shadows. I then repeat this process with the text.
If you have a request for a tutorial, a question, or a comment, feel free to leave a comment below the video. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.